Hi. Hello. It's Ellie and Jamie from Jelly Diaries and my Bubba. Um, just thought we'd do a follow up on our future health vlog, which was to do with stem cell storage, uh, cord blood and cord tissue. Uh, just to let you know what happened on the day. So we took our box, didn't we, to took hospital. Box, yeah. So that was by the by the hospital, well, with the hospital bag by the door. Told the midwives, told all the people it was there, so they're aware of it and, and could plan for it. Yeah, and actually our phillibotomist sort of knew people on the ward anyway. So uh, she's been there loads of times. Yeah. She knew she knows all the midwives walking around and um, it's a well-known face in the area, which for us was, I was always worried it was just going to be a random person turning up and people... And them going, what are you And they get lost and they'll be yeah. awkward and... <laughs> it not actually <laughs> happen. But, but no. our phillibotomist was great because although the emphasis is on you to chase them and to keep them posted with what's going on, she was really proactive in, um, in sort of keeping in touch with us before the day and on the morning. She came to find us in our room, didn't she, yeah. while we were getting ready she for theatre. Brilliant. Yeah, really yeah. put our minds at ease. Actually, about the whole thing that I was facing, not just the cord just, blood thing. She was really lovely, wasn't I had she? A, I just had a whole image in my head of our consultant turning up and not knowing, what, not knowing us, not knowing what's going on. But she just came in as if she'd been there. We'd known her for, for however long. Yeah, all the way for journey with us, and it was just um, yeah, really reassuring. And she got there really early as well yeah. to make sure yeah. she'd be there on time. Talk through the process. Because you were worried it would be too much of sort of focus on that and not on meeting our baby for the yeah, first time, yeah. weren't, weren't well, you? Well, it's a, a potential worried. disruption, isn't it? And yeah. Focus away from what we're meant to be focused on was him, but it wasn't at all. It was. Well, I didn't have any sort of knowledge of what was going on in the room, but they took you out for a couple of minutes yeah, to so, sign some paperwork, So she explained they? what happens and what I did was, was once he was out, they, they um, took him and uh, next door, they could sort of once over. At the same point, uh, she did what she needed to do to take the samples away, um, put them into where they needed to be. Did you see all the stuff? Yeah, yeah I've got a couple of photos which are... Uh, it pretty gross? Yeah, you'd, you'd, yeah, you'd just rather best left in your imagination than, than actually seen. Um, <laughs> but we, but I went into the room, um, just so obviously got a chance to see him and, and um, look after Ellie. So whilst they were just sewing you up, yeah, because um, I was in there a long door. time, so you had to, you weren't gone long though, but no, you had plenty gone, of time so to just minutes. pop out. It's probably more the case I was a little bit giddy and a little bit talkative uh, when I when I when I saw Sano for the stuff. So wow. yeah, she took it, went next door, and she uh, had all the samples in the little bags and and put it in a box, the freezer box, put the samples, and then signed it all off, um, all it nice and secure, uh, and then that was over to me. Uh, also put into my room in our room. And then we had to call the courier to come collect it. And all that info's on the box, wasn't it? Yeah, so all step by so step. Easy. Well, I think she talked to us through it anyway. And then, and then the box, um, then the courier came. Oh, there the goes the dummy. And the box came, uh, the courier came and picked the box up right from our room. So, yeah. to be honest, um, it was flawless. As, it was yeah. flawless, as easy as I could imagine it to have been. Um, so you weren't running around looking for a courier outside in the car park or The most important days of your life yeah. for delivering a child. And if they take... All the concern and effort away from away from the whole process. Yeah, um, that's what you want. That's what you want. Uh, like in addition to how important what it was we they were actually doing, because uh, some of you might know that he's been very poorly since he was born. I think it's like the second it's weekend. A bit chunky arm. Yeah, he's still got his IV line in there. That's just been horrific watching them put that in every time it fails. So we went on to A and E. I think when he was around just before three. He was about two and a half weeks. So we spent like half of his life in hospital and um, he had a UTI and then he had a secondary blood infection called Staphorius and they weren't sure whether that was some kind of contamination that happened in, when we arrived in A&E or whether it developed in his system, they don't know, but he's been on lots of antibiotics. We've, we're just going back to the hospital now, we've, we've only just been back at nights for a few nights, so just sort of, he's thinking, is this my home? I think mm. he thinks hospital is home. But um, I remember the first, when we were in A&E, I was just like, we've got his blood, we've got his cord blood <laughs> stored, do you need legal. it, do you need it? Like, we'll call Future Health and it's all sorted. Yeah. Um, but we didn't need it, but I didn't know. And then when they said the secondary blood infection, again, I was like, we've got, we've got what we need if he needs yeah, some kind yeah. of stem cell help in any way. Uh, probably didn't articulate myself very well, but just we knew we had that well, stuff stored. Well, in the morning, wasn't it? You were concerned, so. Yeah, so, yeah. but just goes to show, you just don't know what's around the corner. I did not expect to be spending 
three weeks nearly like in a little room with him with him being monitored around the clock and pumped full of god knows what in terms of medication and although we didn't need the stem cell stuff this time it's our assurance it was there yeah wasn't it? and you just don't know what's going to happen what's around the corner so yeah I get a bit emotional but i'm mm. really glad we were able to have it done and if you're in a position if you're expecting it's really worth looking into because you just can't you can put a price on it but you can't yeah, and absolutely true. Yeah. And it's from first-hand experience, as I said, the process was so easy, it wasn't intrusive. Yeah. It didn't take it didn't take anything away from the special moments we had no. when we arrived. Yeah. So there we go, Future Health Biobank, we really recommend and thank you for all your help on the day to our philobotomists. Um yeah, it was just we're just so glad we've done it.